Hello, my diamonds. You know, for the longest time, I couldn't understand why is it that the United States, they care more about the immigrants or migrants, whatever way you choose to call them. You know, why do they care so much about taking care of these people and not the taxpayers, the Americans who are already in this country? So, you know me, I had to do my research, right? And what I found is the United States has a long history of immigration, which has played a significant role in shaping its culture, economy, and society. Now, there are several reasons why the United States continues to allow immigration despite domestic challenges in housing and social services. Here's one of the reasons. Economic contribution. Immigrants often fill gaps in the labor market, contributing to economic growth and innovation. They start businesses here, they create jobs, and they pay taxes, which can help support social programs. So the reason why they are importing all of these immigrants is because immigrants are willing to work for like minimum wage. They're willing to work cheaper. And once they get on their feet, pretty much they do open businesses, they do create jobs. And because immigrants, they come here and they will stick together. You know what I mean? So that they, unlike Americans, Americans don't hardly want to work. You know how many businesses have been closed down because people are not showing up for work? So therefore that's messing up the economy for the United States. Now, we know that the United States is paying a lot of money when it comes to these immigrants, but they know that it's going to pay off because these are people who work. Another reason is the demographic trends. Like many other developed countries, the United States is facing demographic changes such as an aging population and the decline in birth rates. Immigration helps to replenish the workforce and sustains economic productivity. Now we know that a lot of Americans, we're not having babies, they don't wanna have no babies, so that uh, birth rate is declining. And then you know we do have uh, the uh, older people getting older, it's an aging population, so people are dying out, so they need to bring more people into the country. The third reason is for humanitarian reasons. The United States has a tradition of offering refuge to individuals who are fleeing persecution, violence, and natural disasters in their home, in their home countries. Providing sanctuary to those in need is seen as a moral obligation and it reflects American values. Meanwhile, you're letting the Americans fall by the wayside. That don't make any sense. Also diversity and cultural enrichment. Immigration enhances the cultural diversity of the United States, enriching its society with new perspectives, traditions, and ideas. Now, while managing immigration can present challenges, policymakers aim to strike a balance between addressing domestic needs and upholding principles of compassion, economic vitality, and inclusivity. Efforts to improve housing and social services for all residents are ongoing, but they are separate issues from immigration policy. But you know, meanwhile, you have so many Americans. Let me show you what's going on. Let me, let me show you what they're doing right now. This is what they're doing. And one Democrat city council member wants residents. Boston is running out of room to house migrants. And one Democrat city council member wants residents in the suburbs to start taking them in. She says people who actually have more financial support, we need to do everything in our power to make sure that we are setting them up for success or whatever success looks like. I think everyone should be opening up their doors because this is a shared responsibility. Mm. My concern with that, you're basically 
basically opening your doors to an unvetted stranger on the one hand, and secondarily, you're normalizing illegality. So even though you think you're doing something magnanimous, I think it's a bad thing for our country. And people aren't happy about it. And this is what's going to happen. And, and people were holding signs. Why us? Why not Wellesley? And it seems like politicians now are starting to get that pushback from their residents, from their constituents. And they're they're panicking a little bit. They're doing things I never thought I'd see them do, like calling on these suburbs. And a lot of people who have signs on their front yard that say, you know, hate has no home here, no human is illegal well now they're gonna have to put their money where their mouth is it seems Bye. this is also what's going on hold on can you try meanwhile mayor eric adams is rolling out a money-saving program he claims it's money saving to help migrants adams uh, debit card program for migrants will reportedly give migrants up to ten thousand dollars each in taxpayer money with no id check no restrictions and no fraud control so we're just going to keep piling money at these people after they illegally broke into the country and broke the law as their number one thing in America, Krisha. Well, exactly. Um, and we're incentivizing them to come to this country and to stay. This is exactly why the Democrats are losing when it comes to minorities and people who are working hard, anyone for that matter, who's working hard to earn an honest living and to, to pay for these illegal migrants who are coming in and getting $10,000 debit cards, getting free health care, getting all sorts of perks. And at the same time, as you said up top, in terms of the NYPD, our NYPD officers who are also on on the front lines are meanwhile well, mayor are migrants new york city again. new york city they are launching a 53 million dollar program to give prepaid debit cards to migrants to spend at bodegas because what happened was the city was providing migrants meals and the migrants were like we don't like these meals so the city said okay um you don't like what we're giving you okay so we will just give you prepaid debit cards and you can decide what you want to eat that was easy if you think I'm lying, I'm not. This is real. The pilot program is being rolled out at Roosevelt Hotel in Manhattan with 500 families that are involved. A family of four will get a card loaded with $1,000 a month, equivalent to $35 a day. The city is saying that they only want these cards to be used at bodegas, supermarkets, and delis. And they're going to make the migrants sign an affidavit agreeing that that's how they'll spend their money. And then, they, of course, they have, they have no way to track it. They, they'll have no idea because it's a prepaid debit card. But, hey, trust the migrants. New York City. How are they this ungrateful? Migrants giving free housing in a luxury four-star hotel in NYC posted videos online bragging about their new lifestyle. The insane part is that many iconic and expensive hotels in NYC have had to be shut down, converted into free homeless shelters to fix the migrant crisis. Instead of acting grateful for the hotel, these migrants boasted to their friends about how they now have all this nice stuff for free because they came to America. NYC Mayor Eric Adams put the city in this crisis by publicly announcing that he would welcome all migrants. Why are migrants living better than most Americans? Yeah, why? There is currently no plan by the Adams administration to deal with these migrants other than taking private hotels and converting them into shelters. It is unclear how long these supposedly temporary shelters will last, but right now it seems they are here to stay. Massive lines of people waiting outside these luxury hotels can be seen at night waiting to get in. Eric Adams brought this on himself by declaring to the world that NYC welcomes all migrants. Other states, including Texas, took up his offer and flew all the refugees to NYC. Very quickly, the city became overrun with migrants and they ran out of resources to properly deal with them. How are now, how are the people feeling about this? One person says, me no speaky English. <laughs> he's going to try to act like he's a damn immigrant. And when it comes to these free cards that they're giving out, $1,000 a month, how can we go about getting one? Uh, another person says, I'm getting an $84 tax return, but they get $10,000? Are you serious? Another person feels like, why do I even bother working? Another one says, no wonder I'm only getting back $24 on my tax return. Another person says, what's going on with this country? It's a shame for the working people. A lot of people are outraged. You know, I don't understand what's going on. But like they said, the migrants come here and eventually they get jobs. They open up businesses and they eventually pay all the taxes back. And that's their justification. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle.